Okay, let's give you a little tour of where we work. This is our television studio. Our weather workstation is inside the studio itself, where we'll monitor what's happening with the weather seven days a week and nearly 24 hours a day. We'll look at a variety of weather charts to help us forecast the weather, with many different weather models used to analyze what's happening and what will happen. Plus, we like to keep an eye on satellite data too that shows how the clouds are moving. And of course, weather radar is a very important tool to track rain, snow and storms with. And to be able to show you all this, we need a big green screen to do it. Hey everybody, I'm meteorologist Alyssa Carapreece explaining to you how we actually tell the weather to you on the news. We are not reading off of anything. Instead, when we look at the camera, we get to see exactly what you see. We see ourselves right in front of our maps. But when we turn to our side, we're actually standing in front of a green wall. We cannot wear the color green because of this. <laughs> That's the coolest trick, isn't it? Green will make us disappear. Of course, to be on TV, one has to get ready to be on TV. That means putting on makeup, fixing the hair just right. And believe it or not, it's not just for the girls. The guys have to do it too. Now we're ready for some TV. Temperatures trending cooler, up to 45 at Albany. Upper 40s down near Kingston. Wave of wolf but most pressure of is going to develop along the front and then track to our south, bringing the chance of snow, as we said, most likely to the south of the region. And you know how sometimes you can get yelled at in school for misbehaving? Well, believe it or not, we can get yelled at sometimes too. That usually happens when the forecast goes wrong. But it's all part of the job and we'll listen to what people are complaining about. So there you have it, the inside look at the life of a TV meteorologist.